Welcome to the Potter Blog site, April 23rd, 2013. Had an unusual spike, step function spike in our outdoor radiation Geiger counter. <clears throat> so we'll uh, show you that here in a minute. But the spike has made us decide to come out here and take a swipe of the uh, surface swipe of the truck here and see what kind of uh, readings we get. Uh, man. You can, you can hear the Geiger counter picking up a little bit already just from pointing at the surface of the truck. Uh, running a little low of sheets, so I used fewer sheets this time on the, on the wipe. Uh, more sheets is usually better because the water tends to attenuate the radiation. Uh, let's see what we get here. So about 30 CPM is about background, so we're over 1,000 CPM. Thirteen hundred CPM. So thirteen hundred CPM. So that is that's pretty hot. That's uh, a little over forty pounds background. A little hotter than we're used to. Actually, a lot hotter than we're used to. April 23rd, 2013. So we've had a lot of rain today. Um, taking a quick look here at our outdoor radiation monitor and you can see there's been pretty much a step function peak in the uh, last several hours. Although there was a little bit of decline and now it's peaked back up again. And you can see in our indoor radiation monitor that there's uh, been an increase occurring with that too. Uh, fortunately uh, the rain's not leaking into our basement like it was last time. But uh, we're going to go outside and do a swipe on the truck uh, just because of this spike looks interesting. Now, and this is from our live uh, outdoor and indoor uh, uh, radiation Geiger counter. Uh, this is the current surface winds, and it looks like we may have the load directly above us because of the way these winds are going. Take a quick look at the jet stream here. And now, the key to notice is we're on the edge of the jet stream. Um, this is where the uh, airspeed from the jet stream slows down and so we get some better chance of radioactive fallout coming here. Uh, we get radioactive fallout on the jet stream because the jet stream happens to go directly over Fukushima. Uh, the hot quarium in the ground in Fukushima, uh, it steams out radiation. Uh, it also steams out the groundwater and that groundwater is naturally radioactive. Uh, so we get a, uh, a double indication. Um, here's our uh, current radar image of St. Louis. So you can still see we got ongoing rain. And here's a close-up. So now out to go uh, do a test swipe. 